hello students in today's video lecture we are going to discuss the most important topic of contents free grammar that is normal forms in particular in this video we are discussing chomsky normal form which is also abbreviated as cnf now let us first see what is normal forms and its and what are its need as while discussing the simplification of grammar in the previous topic we come across that by reducing or simplifying the grammar the grammar gets minimized but does not get standardized this is because the right hand side of the production have no specific format now in normalization is performed in order to standardize the grammar and this is going to be performed by using normal forms now <clears throat> the most popularly used normal forms are first is chomsky normal form which is abbreviated as cnf and the other is dribbach normal form which is abbreviated as gnf now <clears throat> let us see what is chomsky normal form a <clears throat> uh, contents free grammar is said to be in chomsky normal form if all its productions satisfies one of the following conditions that is in the first condition a produces b c that is the right hand side contains two variables only or a produces a that is the right hand side contains only one terminal here capital a b and c are non terminals that is variables and small a is a terminal from the above conditions we infer that to be in chomsky normal form all the productions must derive either two non terminals like this or a single terminal like this now let us understand this concept by taking some examples <clears throat> in the first example we you can see that Uh, there are three productions s produces capital p q p produces small a and q produces small b now from the conditions of the chomsky normal form you can see that a produces b c that means the right hand side contains two variables or a produces a the right hand side contains only one terminal so in this example you can see that the right hand side in the production s produces p q the right hand side contains two non terminals that is variables which satisfies the the first condition of the chomsky normal form and in the other productions p produces small a and q produces small b it satisfies the second condition of the chomsky normal form here all the three conditions uh, of the chomsky normal form is satisfied so it is in chomsky normal form in the second example you can see that s produces p q r p produces small a small b and q produces small b capital p if you can see that um, in in the grammar clearly here all the three productions does not satisfy the two conditions of the chomsky normal form so it is not in chomsky normal form in such type of questions we need to convert this grammar into chomsky normal form now let us understand the steps for converting the contents free grammar into chomsky normal form in the step 1 <clears throat> in the contents free grammar we remove the null unit and useless productions according to the rules infer from simplification of contents free grammar which we already discussed in our last lecture now in step 2 eliminate terminals from the right hand side of the production if they exist with other non terminals or terminals like um, um if we take the example in the production s produces a a can be decomposed as s produces t a capital t a where t can also t can produce a small a we can replace uh, the, this a by by taking the t produces a production now in step 3 we eliminate the right hand side with more than two non terminals the if the production is of type s produces a s b which can be decomposed as uh, if you can clearly see there are three 
variables and uh, from the conditions of chomsky normal form there has to be two variables so we can take s produces tb in the first step and in the second step we can also take t pr t produces as so we can decompose this s produces asb into two new productions in order to convert this into chomsky normal form now we can we, we can uh, take this uh, by uh, taking a quotient uh, the quotient is convert the given grammar in context free grammar into chomsky normal form here the grammar is given with uh, with five productions and in four variables like s produces a a d a produces a b and a produces b a b and b produces b and capital d produces d in in the first step we can see that uh, is there any null production unit production or useless production is there in uh, present in the grammar but here we find there is no null production unit production or useless production is there so we move to step 2 in the step 2 we first find out how many productions in the in the grammar are already satisfying the chomsky normal form if we can see clearly in the grammar like b b produces b and capital d produces small d these two are already in chomsky normal form so we we number it as 1 and 2 these production will remain as they are the productions not in chomsky normal form are already listed the other two productions are this and we can, we will number it as 3 and 4 in the next step we need to replace the terminal symbols a small a and a small b by new variables uh, such as c subscript a and c subscript b this is done by introducing the following two new productions in the grammar like c a produces small a and c b produces small b we can number it as 5 and 6 in the next step we now the production 3 and 4 modifies to S produces C A A D and A produces C A B and A produces C B A B. We number it as seven and eight. Now we, you can see there are three uh, non-terminal is there which not satisfy the 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 condition the first condition of Chomsky normal form. Here also there are three variables which which is also not satisfying the condition of Chomsky normal. So we replace. ad and ab by new variables cad and cab respectively this is done by introducing the following two new productions in the grammar like ca produces ad and cab produces ab we can also number it as 9 and 10 now the production 7 and 8 you can see that the production 7 and 8 modifies to s produces ca cad and a produces cab in a produces c b c a b uh, we we also number it as 11 and 12 now in the step 5 uh, we we can uh, we club all the the productions which are in chomsky normal form to the to, uh, to find the resultant grammar like from the productions 1 2 5 6 9 10 11 12 we you can see if we Uh, if i go backward that 1 and 2 are in chomsky normal form 5 and 6 productions are also in in chomsky normal form then we replace 7 and 8 to 11 and 12 9 and 10 is also in chomsky normal form so so from here you can see that one the production 1 2 5 6 9 10 11 12 the resultant grammar will be this now the the above grammar the about context free grammar is in chomsky normal form now some assignment questions are there so you need to solve these assignment questions and and mail it to me in next 3 days these questions are already based on your rtu exam paper thank you for watching this video